Hello, in this uh, video, we will learn how to use z-test for our different uh, proportions. Go down to um, copy the link below and open the app and follow along. So the problem is this. Um, two types of medication for hives are being tested to determine if there is a difference in the proportions for adult patient reactions. 20 out of random um, sample of 200 adults given medication A still have hives 30 minutes after taking medication. 10 out of another random sample of 200 adults given medication B still have hives um, 30 minutes after taking medication. Test at a 2% level significant. So we're going to summary the problem this way right here. So we have two groups. So group A, right? So we have the number of success. Uh, I did write it right here, success. That would be equal to 12. And the uh, sample size, um, this one I would call success, um, yeah, A. And this one would be the B, would be the N, would be equal to uh, 200, yes? And group B, that we have the success um, equal to 10, because we have 10 people right here, 10 out of 200, right? Um, so N equal to 100, right? So with this one here, they want to test, so the, the statement to test, test if there is difference in the proportion of these two groups. So we have the original statement um, that would be uh, either a different, that means I have over here, that means um, I have, like I can call group A and group B, I can call that one, I can call like P, um, um, PA, okay, and then PA, oops, sorry. Yeah, so I have over here that would be P, P, A, uh, if that difference, then, you know, when I subtract this, um, the difference of two proportion, uh, two proportion, I should have not equal zero, right? Um, so I have not equal zero, right? So that's the original statement. So alternative statement, that would be P, um, PA and then minus PB, this one should be equal zero, right? Yeah. Then from that, so remember I have HO is the one always have equal size, so therefore uh, this case I have PA minus uh, PB this one should be equal zero because H O always containing zero, right? And then the H A would be the, the other statement that means P A minus P minus P B uh, should be not equal zero, right? Not equal zero, yeah. So with that, then we're gonna use the test over here that give us um, over here that we have to remember that alpha um, is um, equal to uh, 2 percent, right? 2 percent, that means 0 0.02, um, right? So with that, then we can use the app down here. So you open your app, you will see um, something like this. You're going to use statistics right here, and then you go down to see z-test difference proportion. So they always have the null hypothesis set up for you, P1 minus P2 always equal zero. And this case we will choose not equal for alternative hypothesis at HA. Right. Group A, we put a number one, so we have 12 and the end that would be 200, yes. And then group two, I have the successes that would be 10 and over here is 200. Hit enter and you go down here, you should see the Z right here. Um, the Z score and the, the P value right here. 
So p value would be 0 0.6609. So we're going to have right here. So the p value equal to 0 0.6609. This one we're going to compare with alpha with G. This one is much greater than 0 0.02. So therefore, it's bigger than uh, alpha. So therefore, we do not reject age old. Right? So that implies that we will reject age now we go back to see here what is the original statement. So we re we reject H A right here, but H A is the original. So therefore we have to reject reject the um the the original statement, right? The claim. Uh, meaning we say uh, there is not enough evidence to claim that there is a difference between these two medications. So we don't have enough to say that uh, for this thing right here. Do not enough evidence to say that. So that's it. how do we do um, this type of problem um, Z-TEF for two proportion using G-Algebra.